Hi, Brett from Elgato here. After launching Virtual Stream Deck, we had a flood of comments, from all the ways you were planning to use it to questions on how some features worked. I'm here to answer those questions, rapid fire style. In case you missed it, Virtual Stream Deck takes the same functions of the physical Stream Deck you have on your desk right now and brings it onto your computer, clicking to trigger actions instead of tapping on a key. To try out Virtual Stream Deck, download and install Stream Deck version 7.0. You can find it on our downloads page and then by clicking on Try Beta Versions. You will also need a physical Stream Deck connected for the feature to unlock. Okay, first question. Is there a way to see only the keys themselves and not the border? Yes. While the opacity slider in the configuration menu adjusts the transparency of everything, if we head into frame color here and then adjust alpha channel down to zero from 255, the border or frame goes transparent. You can also do something in between to fade it out, 127 being 50%. Next up, can a different Stream Deck be used to open Virtual Stream Deck? Yes. Under the Stream Deck category on the right here is a VSD toggle action. You can put this on your physical Stream Deck or even another Virtual Stream Deck, and using this will toggle the Virtual Stream Deck that you select in the settings. Does Virtual Stream Deck work with smart profiles? Yes. Just like a physical device, Virtual Stream Deck will react to apps being brought to the front by switching profiles if you set that up. Do GIFs on keys work? Of course. Behold, many GIFs. And all the same icons you use for your other Stream Decks can be used on Virtual Stream Deck too. Do Virtual Stream Decks have pages like a regular Stream Deck? Yes, absolutely. The same page system is available on Virtual Stream Deck. You can use the next or previous page actions that you may be familiar with or at the bottom of your virtual stream deck on your display are some arrows and they will show if you hover over them. I am on Stream Deck 7.0 and I have a Stream Deck connected. How do I get this? If you have everything installed and connected, go to the device dropdown, click on add virtual device and simple as that. You can go into the configuration menu at the top and begin increasing the key counts and customizing. If you're having some issues though, please reach out to our support team at help.elgato.com. Is there a limit to the number of virtual stream decks I can create? There's really no hard limit. I think Nutty's video here showing something like 4,000 keys proves that you can create a huge amount. You'll run out of monitor space before keys. Can we get this on iOS or Android? That sounds like you're wanting Stream Deck Mobile, which turns your phone or tablet into a Stream Deck for controlling your PC or Mac. Link down below in the description. Please tell me this is not a subscription. It's not a subscription. It's completely free if you have a physical Stream Deck. That could be a Stream Deck Mini, Stream Deck Mark II, Stream Deck XL, Stream Deck Plus, etc. Which does lead into our next question. Why is the Stream Deck mobile app not supported as a device to unlock Virtual Stream Deck? Or why do you need a physical Stream Deck for a virtual Stream Deck? Or lastly, paid version without a device when? I will first answer this by saying you don't need your Stream Deck to be plugged in all the time for Virtual Stream Deck to be available, only once per 30 days. For example, you can disconnect your Stream Deck, go on a trip for a few weeks, and Virtual Stream Deck will be unlocked the entire time without you needing to pack a Stream Deck. As for why we're doing it this way, I'll say that we're reading and listening to all the feedback that you all have. Virtual Stream Deck is being launched as a beta to see not only how you all use it, but also so we can evolve it as needed to meet your needs. Please continue to leave your thoughts and suggestions in the comments or over on our official Elgato subreddit. Now, finally, a few more tips. Each virtual Stream Deck has its own appearance, hotkeys, key layouts, and key sizes. Customize a virtual Stream Deck for one purpose and bring it up with a hotkey dedicated for that use, like Photoshop or video editing. Empty keys can be completely hidden. This is great for making unique layouts to fit around your monitor's edge, or creating a quick selection wheel like from a game. Set it to dynamic mode, turn on auto-hide after an action is triggered, and then set a hockey. 
Now, when you press the hotkey, the ring pops up around your mouse, click on an action, and Virtual Stream Deck vanishes. Virtual Stream Deck can also support up to 8x8 layouts, double that of Stream Deck XL. If you want to virtualize your physical Stream Deck, head into Preferences, then Profiles, find your physical device from the dropdown, then find the profile to move to your Virtual Stream Deck. Right-click and copy to the new Virtual Stream Deck. Now that profile is living on your desktop in your Virtual Stream Deck. Be sure to give your Virtual Stream Decks unique names over in the Device tab in Preferences. That about wraps this up. If you own a physical Stream Deck and want to give Virtual Stream Deck a try, head to elgato.com forward slash downloads. Click on Test Beta Versions and download Stream Deck 7.0. Leave more questions and feedback in the comments here, and be sure to subscribe to us here on YouTube to learn more about Stream Deck, physical or virtual, and other Elgato products. Thanks for watching.